Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Marissa Wolzen. Well, as we take a look at the high temperatures across the area today, it's pretty easy to tell who saw the sunshine and who sat in the fog. Taking a look right now, Willamette Valley, you got into the low 40s in both Corvallis and Eugene, obviously sitting in the fog for most of the day, even though we did see a few peaks of the sunshine. Mid 40s also into Central Oregon this afternoon, but it, they started off on the chilly side. 58 in Roseburg, actually breaking out to see the sunshine and out along the coast. Everyone was in the low 60s, even close to the mid 60s down in North Bend, Coos Bay. So not too bad of a day out along the coast. As we move into tomorrow, it might not be the place you want to be as showers are going to move on in, but that's not going to be the only place for the showers. We are looking at rain to move across the entire area tomorrow. Temperatures right now, though, outside 30s into central Oregon, along I-5, still in those low 40s. Now at 50 degrees in Roseburg and out along the coast, everyone's in the mid-50s. Storm Tracker 9 satellite and radar showing plenty of clouds moving on in. It's all ahead of this big upper-level low that's spinning in the Pacific Ocean. Take a look at this beautiful spiral look here on satellite imagery. Now the center of the low obviously right there in the center of the spiral, but there's going to be quite a few storms that are, that are going to work their way around this low pressure system. You can see one right here and we are going to look at another one form a little bit further to the south and these storms are going to work their way through our area. We have our first one tomorrow, but there are more to come throughout the week ahead. So taking a look at Stormcast over the next 36 hours, putting things into motion tonight. Clouds increasing across the area, then a few rain showers into the morning and early early afternoon across the entire area tomorrow, even rain showers across the passes. Now as we get into tomorrow night, heading into the overnight hours into Monday, then comes the next storm. That'll bring us some heavy rain with the warm front. The cold front's still offshore. That'll bring us more rain showers as we get into Monday afternoon. So those are two storms, but again, like I mentioned, there's more to come once we get into the middle and end of the week as well. So for tomorrow, expect isolated showers along the coast, mid to upper 50s for the high temperatures. The Amco Basin highs into the mid 50s, patchy fog in the morning otherwise rain showers throughout the day. Same for the Cascades. Again, rain over the pass is still very warm outside. And finally for the Willamette Valley, temperatures into the low 50s, patchy fog in the morning, and then the rain showers continuing throughout the day tomorrow. Seven day forecast along the coast looking fairly wet. Another system again Monday into Tuesday. Showers will wrap up with that storm. Slight chance for a shower on Wednesday with the warm front, but the cold front moves in on Thursday. That's going to bring more rain showers on Thursday. We do have another storm on Friday and another one on Saturday. So a very wet week ahead and this is the first full week of February as February does start tomorrow. For those in the Amcor Basin also looking at rain showers over the next couple of days but temperatures will remain on the mild side mid to upper 50s even into those low 60s on Wednesday. For those in the Cascades over the passes. Yes, we are looking at rain showers initially on Sunday, a rain snow mix on Monday, then a few snow showers on Tuesday. Only about one to two inches of snow expected, but again, not expecting it to stick to the ground. The ground is still very warm out there, and if it does stick, it's not going to last long as warmer air moves in towards the end of the week. The Willamette Valley also going to look at the rain showers over the next couple of days. Temperatures into the mid 50s, so not too bad there. Even near 60 degrees on Wednesday, but Megan, big changes from January where the Things are very mild across the area. Yes, we keep the mild temperatures, but we are going to add in the rain starting tomorrow. And then just the storms move right on in from the south and west one after the other after the other. Warm and wet. Yes. All right. Thanks so much, Marissa. Yeah.